Hey guys, what's going on? It's Diggerman Fly here. Sorry for the uh, bad quality, um, if you may. I'm using my um, my iPhone 4 for a quick video here uh, regarding the winch running off a uh, FSG T3B. So, I received an email. I've been receiving this kind of same chatter for over a while because I posted on um, rccrawler.com about running my winch without the hack on the uh, uh, FlySky G3B radio 2.4 gigahertz. So I'm going to show you guys a quick, quick video. It's going to be a quick rundown on what my settings are to get this winch. I've been running it for uh, competitions, trail crawls, you name it. I've always ran this exact same settings. It never fails. It's... Uh, it's the same as, as, as a wireless winch or just a regular three channel radio, which this one doesn't have the capability of returning, but I'll show you how to do that. Um, it's a little tedious though if you're out trailing and whatnot, but I mean, if you get the hang of it like I did, you'll be quick on your hands and you'll, you'll be able to, uh, to use the winch just using the uh, FlySky 3, uh, the GT3B radio. Let me show you guys real quick. Okay, so what I have here is my Venom crawler. This is a competition crawler. Um, I'm just going to show you for demonstration purposes only. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Normally when you start your radio, you want to flip that, uh, you want to flip that, that third channel automatically on you want to flip it when you start for the first time because your settings will save but then the winch won't recognize it so what you want to do is just pretty much just hit the third channel button so this won't happen it'll it'll usually it'll happen but um if if you know about uh, uh, of the uh of the way i'm showing you pretty much uh you, you guys will be pretty much learning quick so let me put my radio here see if i can catch it all in one shot here okay so this is the setting I'm using, okay? On the channel three, uh, reverse servo, I'm keeping it normal, okay? Keeping that normal. Now on the end points, you can use whatever, but I, I, I find that this one works better because it stops the wind from going in slowly. So at your end points, you want to put 11%, and then when we switch it, we have 98% on the other hand. I'll show you why, because when you're when when it's just sitting still like this like it is right now it starts going in at a hundred it starts going slowly so you want to stop that so that's your end point okay 11 98 okay um your dual rate you want to keep it 60 percent okay dual rate 60 percent your trim to the left 30 okay or, well, if you have it reversed, it'll be to the right 30. Let me show you guys now how this works. Okay, so you always want to, when you're trailing, let's say, you can still drive your vehicle, even with this setting blinking. As you can see, vehicle is driving, the setting is blinking, nothing's happening. So, when you switch it over, uh, when you click your button here, it starts going out. The winch starts feeding out, feeding out, okay? Now you switch it to rev or reverse and then it starts going in slowly but then you click that third button check it out oh, I'm sorry it's covering the shot but it goes back in and then all you have to do is when you uh, let me try to do this real quick okay so right now it's feeding out on, on normal okay you stopped it when you go to rev okay it's going in slowly then you click that button and you wait till your winch is slightly there, let it go in, switch it to normal, it stops. Keeps your winch from just untangling and falling out. So that's my little tip. I use it every time. It works 100% of the time. My winch never, I'm using a uh, uh, Bulldog Racing uh, 3R winch, I think that's what it's called. It's like a 90, uh, 9003 XT. It could haul up to like five pounds. So let me show you guys again the settings. 
Okay. You want to have your uh, reverse servo normal, your endpoints 11, and then 98. Okay. And then your your dual rate to 60. Okay. Then your trim on the third channel to left 30. If you're reversed, right 30. Okay. So let me show you what I do. I normally, when I'm trailing, I just let it blink. Okay. So on normal mode, I'm going to click the button here real quick. Okay. Normal mode. There it goes. When I switch it, Okay. When I switch it, reverse, starts feeding in quicker, okay, okay, and once I'm almost there to the front of the bumper, I let it feed in slowly and then switch back to normal mode, see, and it stops the winch from tightening up and ripping this hook off because this has a lot of torque, it'll rip it off. So. Um, if you guys have any other questions on RC Crawler, let me know. I'll post it up. I'll show you my tips and tricks with this radio that sometimes you don't even need the hack. All you need to know are the settings and your set. And as you can see, and here, let's listen, it's not winding up. It's just still. It stopped because of those settings. If you put those settings exactly how they are on your vehicle and make sure you have the proper vehicle, set up here I have like six vehicles here this one's Ven for Venom so and like I showed you guys the vehicle will still work even though if that setting is blinking okay so that was my tip for today uh, for you guys on rccrawler.com uh, uh, let me guys know what you think and uh, what are the tips you guys want to know and I can definitely make a video of that this was just a quick iPhone 4 video I don't I didn't use my cam today so I just used my uh, iPhone to make a quick, quick video. So, catch you guys later. Subscribe, rate, and comment like always, guys.